chapter, Darkest Before the Dawn. Alright, keep to go, huh? What is good? Okay, so I guess it's time for more scrimmage. Sounds good. Oh, new, new stuff, huh? Let's see it. Oh, there's a better battery in here, but I can't make it because I need abundant oil. I don't know where the hell to get that at. Well, there is some other thing. Can I actually get these this time? Oh, yeah, I do have IP data, right? Ah, so it increases the cost by doing this. Okay, so it increases my rotation speed by doing that. So that's how the slots get involved in this, okay. It gave me two more attack, that's so lame. I mean, it's still something, right? I wish I could increase power a little bit too, though. Cause power can make a difference in how much damage I do over time. Yeah, All right, it. you got this, buddy. Let go! Getting used to this game on. Gotta get used to uh, spamming the plays, but I'm not used to it being... Uh. Kill it! Kill it! There we go. God damn it, I hate that. No, I'm not letting you have this. Yeah. Mines. I'm speedy, boy. Yeah. Attack, robots! What are y'all doing? Yeah. Be his ass! Be his ass! Be his ass! Kill him. よし。よし。よし。Kill him, kill him, kill him. Aha, boy! You thought you had me, huh? No, you pushing me! Stop! Bruh! I still won, I don't care. I won by a landslide. Oh, got the CF data and the M weapon basic report. Nice. Alright, I think we've gathered sufficient data. How's it going, Soccer Coon? Are you able to follow along with 
Itakura Sensei. Yes, Itakura Senpai makes it very easy to understand, and she's so nice too. Nice. Very. I've, I have a hard time committing things to memory, but she'll repeat herself over and over without ever getting angry. Wow, that's really something, Itakura. Oh, look at her all happy. Sakura, I brought the reference book you mentioned last time. What's wrong? What's with that face? Carefully, Itakura. I think your heart may be showing. Really? Really, Yagami? What? Sakura Kuda is really opening up too. I should be able to learn more about the robotics club. Sakura Kun, wanna grab tea with Itakura and me? You know, a team bonding thing or something. What? That sounds wonderful. Let's go, Itakura Senpai. Hey, is this your play to get him to spill about the professor? You're not just gonna spring that on him, are you? Why do you have to do this? Yeah. No, not at all. That might put him in high alert. I'm just collecting a little bit of intel. That should be fine then. Great! Then let's meet up at the cafeteria. Mmm, that teammate's going up a lot. Or teamwork, but... God, I hope that... We can't at least get a pill, but it seems like we probably will get a pill from maybe the skater, the skaters, you know? Convenient that these stairs that I go down to bring me right to the cafeteria right here. So we can just prepare things. Oh, they're right here. The Suya cafeteria has a pretty good karage combo. Oh, but we're just having snacks, right? <laughs> What are your favorite snacks, Itakura Senpai? <laughs> Potato chips. Oh god. I love chips. I'm a big fan of seaweed and salt. Alright. I'm partial to the kasame flavor. Oh yeah, those are great too. Sakura Kun seems to be enjoying himself. He always seems so tense in a robotics club. What? Go on, bring it up already. Alright. Soccer Kun, there's still a lot we don't know about the Robotics Club, probably because we just joined. Do you mind saying what you know? Hi. Of course. Okitagawa, no. gotta ask about him, right? What kind of guy is Okitagawa? He comes off as a real go getter. Mm. That's because he is. He's an amazing person, at least in my book. The Robotics Club completely changed after he joined. Before that, he never had any goals or deadlines. We just mainly sit around talking, getting excited about some cool ideals we'd have. But we'd end up doing nothing and losing in the preliminaries because we were never ready. But we were fine as long as we had fun. It was all very relaxed. Uh. Sounds like the dream. Well, when the club's so easy going, it could put you to sleep. I'm sure it was very rewarding for a guy like Okitagawa to step into, especially having just transferred. He just gives off that micromanager vibe. What with all the reporting and milestones and the ABC talk. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't even know what that was at first. I was all ABC. Should we do the rest of the alphabet? <laughs> <laughs> okay, really? I don't agree with how Okitagawa does things. Don't we have a motto for robot contests? If I'm not mistaken, it was, we think together, we build together. This is the exact opposite of the... Ah, I get how that doesn't exactly line up with Okitagawa's top-down approach. Okay, we're gonna ask about the other members of the club, I suppose. What kind of guy was Takamori? The one in charge of construction. He seemed to butt heads with Okitagawa every so often. Oh yeah, the guy who has a anger problem? Those two don't get along so well. Takamori Senpai was supposed to become president before Okitagawa Senpai came along. But when the previous pre uh, president retired, he named the newly transferred Okitagawa Senpai as his successor. It happened right after he transferred, so everyone was shocked, especially Takamori Senpai. Yeah. 
Heck of a promotion for a new guy, huh? Takamori definitely holding a grudge over it. He loves complaining when Okitagawa isn't around. <laughs> Not like anyone lining up to listen to him, though. Huh. I mean, he'd go on forever if we didn't. So Takamori's unhappy, which also sounds like a consequence of Okitagawa's regime. Or regime right? I still don't know what to think of all this, though. So we're ch right now, I can clearly tell we're thinking about the other members, you know, knowing more about Okitagawa, because he seemed to... Even though he's the odd one out, everyone looks up to him, we just want to know how knowledgeable is he and where did he transfer from and whatnot. We don't know where he transferred from, which is very weird, but the guy is very in the know of things and it makes me wonder what's going on with that. Kuro mazaki -kun, the designer, Okitagawa seemed to hold him in high regard. Yes, that's right. Kuro... Mizaki senpai is quite talented, always finishing his designs without much fanfare. He never misses deadlines, he's very meticulous, that's why the president likes him so much. <laughs> yeah, overbearing boss, always prefer a good lapdog. Well, Kuro Mizaki senpai is very kind, he always worries about me whenever the president chews me out. <sighs> sure, but it's guys like him who let people around him tell him how to walk and talk. Oh, that's not true at all. That reminds me, Izakura seems to have beef with Kuro mizaki -kun. Oh, right, she did say something about that, didn't she? I completely forgot about that. So there was this guy that's in the club that she doesn't like, but... Apparently it's not as bad as <laughs> uh, Amasawa's brother, but I digress. Maybe it's better if I don't bring it up. Not... Yet, anyways. I think that's about everything I wanted to ask. I think I understand the Robotics Club a lot better than before. Thanks for your help. We should do this again soon. Nah. So, Itakura, will you help me investigate the professor? Nope, hard pass. Still won't give me the time of day. Okay, well, how's school going then? It's not so bad, right? <laughs> Who's to say? Not me, that's for sure. Some idiots might still want to jump me like Amasawa's brother. Jump you? For what? I don't know about that. I should really do a better job keeping tabs on Itakura. She really knows how to make me worry about her, though. Despite her personality being kind of rough around the edges, but somehow, I'm starting to like her more, just trying to understand her, is all. Back to the robotics club. Our opponent for the preliminaries has been decided. <laughs> what? Who is it? Jonan Technical School. Whoa. They're one of the teams that made it through the prelims in last year's Re-Robo Rally. We can't underestimate them. Hey, so the preliminaries are finally here. Okay, so this is that deciding factor that gets us in there, right? Indeed, if we win, we'll be in the main tournament. Kitagawa, who's gonna be in charge of the preliminaries? We can't show up without a leader, right? Yagami-san, can we count on you? Yeah, of course. That was my plan anyway. I'm the operator, and whatever happens, I'll be at the preliminaries. Thank you. Akuta Sensei probably wouldn't have made it to the tournament. Yeah, she had no motivation to. You're right. She's never had any interest in robots in the first place. Just the opposite. She makes fun of it every every chance she gets. I did not notice she did that. That's... that's unfortunate. The other day, she just looked at the robots and said, When you graduate high school, hopefully you'll graduate from playing with these toys too. Oh god. These aren't toys. It's like she has no clue how much the world relies on robots these days. Okay, buddy. She doesn't understand anything outside of her own little world. Don't pay her any mind. You got that right. <laughs> Well, at least talking crap on the advisor helps them bond. You got me. Yagami-san, please let me know when you're ready. 
Oh boy. This sounds like a big deal. Oh, I would have liked to talk to itakura some before we did this, but let's get started. Let's prepare. Private Club activity funds increased by 30,000 yen. Okay. See if we can do something a little different here. Yeah, we got the... Oh, we can do that now. Okay. Let's do this. Still can't make that, but I guess this is fine for now. Let's see if we can do this. Whoa, this is looking all official and stuff. At last, the time has finally come for the fourth Re Robo Rally preliminaries. This is where it all goes down. Whoa, Robot Man's. What the hell? Man, it's ready to clog down. Our opponent in the preliminaries is Jonan Technical School. It's supposed to be pretty tough, right? Right. However, according to my estimates, they're not an opponent we can't beat. Which is exactly why we needed our preparations to be flawless. Sounds like you're pretty confident. Of course. But from here on out, you got me. This all comes down to your skills as an operator. Ooh. Don't worry, I'll win. Not like we have any other option, right? Right. I'm counting on you. If we win this, I bet more members will start to trust me. Let's do this. Alright! Alright! Woo! Let's go! We got this, we got this, we got this. Damn, this weapon hits so hard. I'll be taking that, thank you. Alright. Out of my way. Give me this. よし。いいですぞ。まずいな。いいね。何ですと。よし。やられたな。Come on, buddy, get over here. We won. Get out my face, boy! Mmm! Took out their base, so that's how you win it. I was wondering how it was. I was wondering if I covered their blocks, would it actually do that? So this spawn? Once I blocked their spawn, they lost. Man, that felt good. Alright. Get fucked, boy! Oh, that felt good. Uh, not then too special there for the reward. Maybe the clearly point? I don't know.
Unbelievable! Studio Robot Club has toppled the mighty Jonah Technical School. Who could have predicted such an incredible outcome? The Surreal High Robotic Club had now clinched their spot in the main tournament! Amazing! Never imagined we'd make it past the preliminaries! <laughs> this is the Surreal Robotic Club first real achievement. Yeah, can't believe we beat those guys from the technical school. Every one of us had a hand in this victory. Yeah. Let's not lower our guard just yet. We've barely made it into the starting line. I mean, you're not wrong. But at least don't try to drag us down by saying that. Come on, don't be such a buzzkill. Takamori, don't let the victor get to your head. Our objective is far beyond this. I mean, you're not wrong. But yeah, just... You don't have to, like, put them down like that. Well, right, you gotta beat the whole tournament, right? Our objective is to win the Re-Robo Rally. Win? Why is everyone surprised by that? Come on, no. Even I knew. Us? I plan to tell you all after we made it through the preliminary. This is the Serial Robotics Club's ultimate goal. <laughs> Our dumpy little Robotics Club actually winning. No matter how you cut it. That's some wishful thinking there. <laughs> this isn't wishful thinking, nor is it reckless. Our milestones are perfectly aligned with the path to victory. As long as we meet each milestone, one at a time, we'll get there. We'll reach our goal. <laughs> That's some serious confidence. He's actually trying to win the thing? That's one hell of a challenge to say the least. Well, whatever. I was bored anyway. Might as well stick around to see that. Okay, Dakura. Dakura Senpai worth the manpower of at least a hundred members? We have Yukami-san too. What? She's worth at least a hundred members? That is a lot. That's a lot to say there. This guy honestly has to have some kind of vibe for uh, Itakura here. Ooh. Of course, I'll do whatever I can to help. Let's go, Kuromazaki. Oh, okay. Man, this club just doesn't seem like it's on the right track at all. Oh, focus went up by a ton. Is that level two? Oh, come on, it's so close to it. All right, Let's see what else happens. Hmm. Alright, today's topic concerns our development direction for the first round of the tournament. Boy. Do you know who we are up against first? Hmm. Here's the tournament bracket. Our opponent in the first round is Myga College Robotics Club. A college? For today, I'd like us to have a discussion about our countermeasures against the Maiga College. A strategy meeting. Fine. Guess I'm using my whole brain for this. Now. They seem to thrive in close quarters tactical formations. If that's the case, we must prioritize offensive weaponry and formation breaking tactics, which is what I've been doing this entire time. Is just trying to be super aggressive. Therefore, I like could the focus on the weapons development. I'm already ahead of you on that. But let's see if there are any new weapons we could develop, so let's see it. To get us started, I prepared a parts lineup and I'd like to serve as a foundation of development. I've also prepared a schedule and milestones as well. Be sure to check when you need to deliver your work. Didn't even get a chance to speak. Oof. Okitagawa. Hey, Okitagawa. What is it? Didn't you say you wanted to have a discussion, you know, with everyone? Yeah, he did say a discussion. He just, like, threw the paper in their face and said, Alright, read that. Correct. <laughs> but you had everything all decided already. What even was there to discuss? 
I apologize that you misunderstood my words. So the whole point of this was for you to tell us what to do. The optimal solution presented itself. That's not a conversation though, bro. You didn't even have a discussion. Like, do you know what that means? As smart as your glasses come looking at us is, you don't know what a discussion is. Man, I'm getting real goddamn tired of this. <laughs> I like to voice your opinion. I'm listening. Huh? Huh? Why are you patronizing me? That wasn't my intent. I feel like he wants to say something. So this Okitagawa's infamous top-down approach, huh? Maybe I should try to ease up the tension. I don't have an idea meeting. Let's see this. Uh, let's say this. How about we have an idea meeting with everyone to go over the weapon development lineup? An idea meeting? Uh. Yeah, by hearing all sorts of opinions and point of view, it might spark an idea you never would have thought of by yourself. This is what we call a brainstorming session. I fear that may become more of a brain scatter session. Besides, I've viewed the lineup countless times. Well, you'll never know until you try it. Why not give it a shot? It's like something he should try at least, you know. Very well. If you insist, you got me, son. Great. Listen, there are all kinds of rules for brainstorming, but the most important one is... Never deny another's opinions. Instead, dive in and try to expand on them. Got that? Hmm. Denying bad. Yes, I understand. <laughs> okay, anyone want to share a thought? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Actually, I was just thinking. Wouldn't projectile be badass? You know what? I am with you on that, bro. I'm tired of using a drill. This is why I started using a hammer. That bit hits hard, but it's so slow to get that damage in. By the way... We can wreck the enemy from a distance while lining up a block, right? Rejected? Why? Excuse me? With the rail controls that they are, achieving a delicate handling will be difficult. Even if you aim, the line of sight should would shift and the bullet would miss its target. You know what I have to say to that? Is that you're almost wrong on that too. There's only two directions that it turns. You can't turn in between a block. You can't turn into a corner. You can only aim in front of you. You can't aim behind you, which is fair. I mean, every weapon doesn't have something on the back end of the vehicle or whatever of the robot. But why is that super denied? That's something that makes no sense to me. They all, like You literally can only turn one direction at a time. And you can only look that direction. You can't aim from like far away and snipe them you can't do that they have to be on the same row as you so there is a lot going into that actually had Mizu or Mizuzaki the previous operator tried ranged weapon but it was highly impractical that sucks hey now Kitakawa shooting down someone's opinion during a brainstorming session against the rules <laughs> Right. This is quite hard. <laughs> you don't have to shoot it down. You just have to listen to it. You don't have to agree with it, but you have to listen to it, right? Then, what should we do? Well, let's hear if anyone else has an opinion first. I guess at their counselor, I should try to steer this meeting and get them inspired. I'm going to have to expand on Takamori's ranged weapon idea. I'll ask for the ones who haven't said anything yet. I, I'm I don't know why but I want to ask Kuromazaki san Kuromazaki kun hasn't said anything since the meeting started I'd like to hear his thoughts too what's your opinion on the weapons line of Kuromazaki kun <laughs> oh you want my opinion uh, um well I really want us to have cool weapons mm -hmm. What the heck do you mean by cool weapons, bro? Okay, you don't have to be like that. Well, um, I'm thinking if we attached some blue lights and made it transform while it lit up would be great. What would that do exactly, though? I understand how you feel, but we simply don't have the funds for that. 
I'd rather spend them on something that will increase our chances of winning. Oh, I understand that. Okay. Yeah. No, don't apologize for speaking your mind while we're brainstorming. It's important to be able to voice your opinions without being afraid of screwing up. Some of your ideas may even be totally out there, but that's fine too. We try not to reject ideas right out the gate, but instead go with it, try to expand on it, then give your understanding afterward, which I just added to that. I see. That does make sense. So, cool weapon song. Let's bookmark Kurumazaki kun's idea for now while we think. Um, what about Itokura? Itokura. Itokura, what are your thoughts on Takamori's ranged weapon idea? Uh, like Okitagawa said, I think it might be hard to hit the target. In that case, why don't we just adjust it so it still hits on with a broad range? So, to where it doesn't shoot far away, but shoots at a closer range, kind of? Mm -hmm. I think I get what you mean by that. But what do you mean? If we're having a hard time with a single shot, we should make it a rapid fire like a machine gun. Make it rain hard enough, they're bound to get wet, you know? I, I don't know how to feel about the way you said that, but alright. Oh, I get it. Impressive thinking, of course, Senpai. Then how about a shotgun? It should hit with a broader range so that the shot will spread out. That actually sounds genius. That sounds pretty good. That's a really good idea, actually. Yeah, good call. That could work, too. That's what they put on the table. What do you think, Okitagawa? It's an interesting idea, actually. I never considered that point of view. That might work out quite well. Let's add a range weapon development to our lineup. Hey, Eat a core for the win! This is going surprisingly well. Alright, let's hear Takamori's opinion. No. Takamori, what are your thoughts? Does it even matter? Whatever I say, Okitagawa was rejected it outright. Bruh, just say your mind. I'm trying to back you up, man. If you have a sufficient argument, then by all means. Akitagawa denying opinion during a brainstorm is forbidden. Watch it. You got me. You don't have to be so hostile about it. But Okitagawa is trying to understand Yagami's point of view because I'm assuming he hasn't really done this kind of thing before. I don't think he's trying to be super rude about it. He's showing his true colors by understanding it. So I think I, I think I understood Okitagawa a little bit during this session. Anyway, aside from that, I don't really have any other opinion. Alright. I thought so. I was just hoping he'd add to it, but he didn't. Sakura-kun, do you have any thoughts on Takamori's ranged weapon plan? Uh, me? Hmm. I've been racking my brain, but nothing comes to mind. I see. Now that I think about it, he was clutching his head earlier. <sighs> that was a workout for my brain. I'm beat. <laughs> yeah, but it was fun. We got some solid ideas on the weapons lineup, I'd say. Indeed. Let's finish off the lineup with the ranged weapons like machine guns and shotguns. Heh. <laughs> that should have been listening to me <laughs> from the start, man. <laughs> this guy, bro. Come on, man. I get it, but please. That got them pretty amped up awesome. Teamwork, baby. Alright, come on, Let's make our way to scrimmage as usual. Oh, okay. Got new parts. Let's see what we got. Nothing special, it seems like. They're just variants of what we already have. Which I'm guessing is like a stronger version of it, kind of, sort of. But the cost of it, man. We have another special looking battery, but I can't do it. I'm eventually going to have to upgrade too, so I might have to go out of my way to find abundant oil. Ooh. Let's see what weapons we got. We got enhanced drill. We got the version 2 gorilla hammer. Then we got that spider shot GM2. All right, but we can't use it yet. We need that basic report. Finally, fine, fine by me. This is a fancy looking film. I didn't expect it would look like this. I think it's fair. Let's see what we can do. 
We won. There we go. So that's how you get that good old clean sweep. I like that. This game was fun because of that. I like that. Nicely done. Hmm. Excellent. We collected some useful data from this match too. Huh? Hey, Okitagawa. If it's cool to look over these parts again, I think we could make it or uh, make some modifications. Very, right, very. Right, right. How long do you expect it will take? Oh. Mm, half a day, maybe. Looks like your schedule is about to open up, so you should have time for now. All right, go ahead with those modifications. Oh. Roger that. Kitagawa has been listening to everyone's opinions a lot more often than before. Could it be because of the brainstorming session? Oh, Itakura Senpai, how's this? Yep, now you've got it. Ooh, thank goodness. Everyone seems more cheerful than they were before. It's just him by himself thinking, right? Kuromazaki, what's good? Are the designs coming along okay? Oh, yes. Are you enjoying the work? I'm just doing my best. Right. I can get a pretty good read on Kitagawa, Takamori, and Sakura-kun, but I'm gonna need more time getting Kuromazaki-kun to open up. That might be Amasawa. It's been a while since we heard from her. Kami san would you mind stopping by the club room sometime? Got some new dirt on the thieving robot incidents. Ooh, some dirt. Ooh. <laughs> Alright, I'll invite you to Kuro too. Huh? This will be a good chance for her to come back to the MRC. Well, maybe she doesn't want to go back okay. right now. Akura, why don't we head to the MRC room? Amasao has some new info to share with us. <laughs> huh? Me too? That a joke? <laughs> you don't show up. You're basically letting Kento-kun win. Doesn't that bother you? Mm. Fine. I'll tag along. I got some business to handle first, so go on ahead. Uh. I'll come back for you. I'm just kidding. I'll just wait for you when we get to MRC. Yeah, they're that level 2 focus, baby. Alright. Oh, you got me some. We had the time. Could you drop by the club room again? I want to talk to you about this group that's been running the city gang underworld lately. What? Nah, I wonder what it is this time. Wait, so there's two different things. There's a new club about to come up? Oh, boy. Another club is about to get involved, and before I even do that club, which it sounds like, I will be handling the skaters next. So once we get to a point that we can't continue the robotics club, we'll be handling the skaters next. Oh. Kento's here. Amasawa, I wanted to talk to you about the new case. Kami-san, thank you for coming. Please, take a seat. Ooh. Kentokun sitting on today's meeting? Uh. Yep, it's somewhat relevant to me, so really. Oh, is it? Let's see what Amasa got for me. Let's hear it. <laughs> this new community I gotta get into. I apologize, the question seems out of left field, but by any chance, have you heard of Siyuji Giri that occurred during the Edo era? Suji Kiri. I don't know what to say about all this. You mean those old crossroad killings where people ambush others with their swords on the streets? Yeah, samurai and the vagabonds alike supposedly did their, uh, they did it to test their skills and weaponry, or even to mug their victims. So, uh, any particular reason this is coming up? Is that to do with the uh, robots, or what is it? Well, it certainly became relevant in Ichicho. Granted, it's more of a crossroad but uh, beatdown. Crossroad beatdown? Huh? Apparently, there's a local figure who appears out of nowhere to challenge targets to fist fights. That sounds like any thug on the street, though. I've heard that several thugs and skill fighters alike have fallen victim to the payback boxer. Okay, I'm getting interested. I'm getting very interested. When I heard boxer, 
Is this gonna involve the Todoroki gym? Cause I'm certain it's in the school story saga. No. Okay, now that's a name. What's this payback boxer like? He's tall, well built, only uses boxing techniques. What if this is one of the people from freaking? <laughs> if it was from the Kane gang, that would be hilarious. If it's that guy. Not only that, I hear he's exceptionally strong. So much so that he's even defeated a martial arts champ. Oh, that sounds like a real pro. Virtually, he's still unidentified. He wears a hood over his eyes, hides his face with a mask. Oh. Apparently, the payback boxer tells all his victims, I'm here because of your past sins. Sins? What's he mean by that? From what I've heard, he only targets rough and tumble types who clearly have skeletons in their closets. There was also a rumor that the payback box had been accepting requests made through the professor's website. That's that's some BS. So he almost acting like some kind of anti-hero. Any suspects yet, at least? Oh, we do have one potential suspect already. Kenya Oshikiri, a male second year student right here in Suryu High. Oh great, he looks like a delinquent. How is this gonna go? I currently have two reasons for suspecting him. First, a button from the Suryu High School uniform was found at one of the payback boxes crime scenes. Secondly, I heard that Oshikiri kun attends a boxing gym off campus. Okay, I'm getting hyped. How are his boxing skills? The payback boxer is exceptionally strong, right? I also hear Oshiri Kun's extremely strong as well, and known for his tremendous skill. He's he's a downright prodigy. I bet he's the strongest person at the gym. You know Oshikiri too, huh? Yep. He was originally in a karate club with me. We used to practice together when we were both first years. He was crazy strong in karate too. He beat all the black belt senpai the same month he joined the club. The fuck? He flat out told them there's nothing more this club can teach me and walked out on the spot. Dang, that's crazy. Nah. Look, you got me, son. He and I used to be pretty close. I have to say, I really don't think he's the type of guy to do something like this. So you think he's the payback boxer? Huh? So that's what Amaso is thinking. Okay, okay, okay. I'm starting to get this understanding. Kento, Kento let me know. What? Who is this guy? Eto. Well, Kenya can be combative, but he's not capable of any real crime. But Shikiri kun has been in fights all over town, right? He's well known as a delinquent here in Ichincho. Oh boy. Jitsua. That's not it, sis. Kenya has kind of a mouth on him around his senpai and other tough guys, so they get wound up pretty fast. He got famous because he kept winning fights that other people picked with him. He never started it. Oh, uh, this sounds like Yagami all over again. Uh, you really don't think he's got the payback part of the payback boxer in him, do you? Alright, Amasawa. What is it exactly you'd like me to do? I'd like you to go undercover in Oshikiri Kun's boxing gym. Hell yeah, dude! I'm sorry, I might have to skip the skating. I'm sorry, I have to skip it for this. Because this is where we can get new skills, and your boy getting some new upgrades. We doing it. According to Kento, he's open up to sparring opponents that he trusts and respects. I that logic. You should prove yourself at his gym. He may be willing to share any relevant secrets with you. Got it. For once, I'm in my element considering all the martial arts practice. It's called the Todoroki Boxing Gym. Over at Sakura River Street. Oh, and Igami-san? The gym has somewhat of a grim reputation. Mm -hmm. Grim how? On top of the extremely intensive training they have, the member role appeared to be comprised of some rather frightening individuals. Oh god. All of them are ex-Yakuza or ex-convicts of some kind. Some even say the gym turns down applicants who lack priors. <laughs> That's ridiculous. What kind of gym would do that? Sounds like a bunch of rumors 
cooked up by people who never set, uh, set foot up, so in. I guess so. So I really hope that's the case. Alright, before we head over to... <laughs> one of the most exciting parts of this side case saga. Or... School... Story saga. We gotta talk to Amasawa one more time. Mm. Yeah, of course, still isn't here. I hope she shows up. Mm. Who knows, after what happened last time, who could blame her? Please? Yay! Alright, nice. Good to mm. see you. Well, here I am. Please have a seat, you two. I have acquired some new information regarding the thieving robot incidents. So what is it? I was able to get a picture of the robot in question. Bruh, he looks like a little transformer, bruh. So is that it? Hi. It was up on social media, a witness seemed to have snapped a photo. After analyzing the information, it seems like the robot's more powerful than it was before. As it runs away, it spews out a smoke screen, even disperses caltrops from its rear. The fuck? Eh? Caltrops? Those spiky balls ninjas throw when they're making a getaway? Eh. Oh my god. Like it kind of measures in case anyone chases after it. it You'd think the Studio Robotics Club would be able to install functions like those with everything they know? Yeah. Ha. Huh. That's an impossible task for them. They're kind of second-rate robotics club. And from what I hear, that thief bot's supposed to be pretty agile. That sort of a control program is extremely complex. I might fare better, but I'd be impossible for Okitagawa or Sakura. Meaning, the Serial Robotics Club would have one heck of a skill barrier to face. One more thing, Agami-san. Will you take a good look at this picture? Are you able to see the bull on this part? It had that little symbol of Serial High School on it. This bull. Doesn't that look like a cherry blossom mark on its head? Wait, aren't these the custom both the Serial Robotics Club brought? If they're indeed one of the same, we may need to be more wary of the robotics club. Yeah. Actually, I'm a solo. Can I get the data for this picture? <laughs> what are you planning to do? I uh, asked the robotics club about this. <laughs> you really want to go there now? So soon? Won't that make them suspicious? There's this first here named Soccer Coon. Out of every member, he's the one who's opened up the, f the most, right? If there's anyone who could trust to keep a secret, it'd be him, right, Itakura? Mm. Well, I could definitely see that. Very well. I'll say it again, but please be careful. Alrighty then. I guess before we go to the Todoroki Boxing Gym, which, holy shit, that's gonna be my favorite part of this game, dude. We will be tackling <sighs> whatever we have left in this school right now. Robotics Club people! Hello, hello! Talk to you. Sakura? Nah. Hey, Sakura Kun. Got a minute? <laughs> hmm? What's up? Wanna grab some tea with Itakura and me again? <laughs> oh, sounds great. <laughs> then I'll go buy some snacks. Oh, boy. He really didn't have to do that. Itakura. Itakura, let's head over to the cafeteria. <laughs> Oh, we're over here this time. Alright. It's a great senpai. I bought potato chips. I even got your favorite. Cause some, uh, I feel like I'm saying that wrong, by the way. Anyways, oh, how sweet of you. Next time, get me a drink too. And make it a ginger ale. <laughs> You know, Kurt's about to really do him like that, I see. Hi. Okay. <laughs> this guy will cover it. Price is no object. Uh. Well, fine. She's getting free food, so... I suppose it's necessary expense. <laughs> Alright. No. Anyway, Sakura-kun. 
think you could take a look at this. Hi. What's this? It's the thief's butt that's been the talk of the town lately. <laughs> what? A thief butt? Hmm. I heard rumors about it, but this is the first time I've seen the real thing. Huh? This robot. Mm -hmm. What's up? Hmm. I think I've seen this robot before. <laughs> you have? Where? <laughs> um, well... Oh, I remember! The robotics club room! What the fuck? Well, that confirms that! So you know that locked cabinet in the room inside are the blueprints that the robotics club has made over the years. The president let me look inside before. I think I saw a blueprint for a robot with an arm just like this. Are you sure about this? Mm. Nah, I trust his word. Mm, I don't know if it's identical, but it does look very similar to the robot in this picture. We thought the robot club wouldn't have the know how to make a thief butt. But they could have sold blueprints to outsiders. And if that was the case. Suspicions are mounting, huh? Nah. Soccer coon. Who had the keys to that locked blueprint cabinet? Let's be honest here, we all know who it is. Just the club president, Okitagawa. The Buzz Club's most important assets are its ideas. For years, the president has always been one who rigorously manages them. That means Okitagawa the only one who could have pulled out the blueprints. The log cabinet, if I could take a peek at the blueprints inside, that'd be definitive proof. But what now? There's no way they're gonna just let us do this. But now it tells it to continue a bot club investigation. Look. As much as I wanna stay here and do that, really, I really do. I have been waiting to do this for so long. So many of these skills I've been wanting for so long. I'm gonna need them for a second finale because I might be maining this fighting style for, you know, the end game of this game. Obviously, we got another Amon battle, but with, you know, the lost judgment instead of regular judgment, yes. And I'd like to get actual good skills from this and be able to whoop some ass that isn't just some little bit of jab, a little bit of straights, a little bit of hooks. I want some variety from this fight as so, and the hype has finally came, dude. I have to see this right now. Perfect.